In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the market equilibrium by using supply and demand. So in a free market, the price of a good or service is going to be determined by the forces of supply and demand. So that price that we reach by the forces of supply and demand, we're going to call it the equilibrium price. And that's the price where the quantity of the good demanded is equal to the quantity supplied. So I want to give you an example and I'll show you how this works. So let's take the market for chocolate bars. And so we can think about supply and demand for chocolate bars at different prices. So let's say at a price of $1 that consumers would demand, they would want to buy 15 chocolate bars, but producers would only be willing to supply three chocolate bars. And now we can think about for different prices, for different prices, what is the quantity demanded by consumers? How much do they want to buy? And how much are producers willing to supply? And then we can plot out those data points in a graph, and then that will tell us where our equilibrium is. Okay? So at a price of $1, the quantity demanded is 15. So let's do our demand curve first. So we've got 15 at $1. Now at a price of $2, the amount demanded would be 12. At a price of $3, the amount demanded would be 9. At a price of $4, the amount demanded would be 6. And at a price of $5, the amount demanded would be 3. So this is our demand curve. This is our demand curve. Sorry, that's not, let me see if I can get a straight line. That's our demand curve. Okay, so I'll just, I'm just going to put a little D so you remember it's a demand curve. And it's downward sloping because of the law of demand. The price goes up, quantity demanded goes down. Now, let's put together our supply curve. So at a price of $1, and I'm going to change colors here. So at a price of $1, the amount that producers are willing to supply is three chocolate bars. At a price of $2, they're willing to supply six chocolate bars. At a price of $3, they're willing to supply nine chocolate bars. At a price of $4, they're willing to supply 12. And at a price of $5, they're willing to supply 15. So let's draw a line. This is our supply curve. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to label it S. So that's our supply curve, and then we've got a demand curve. Now where these two curves intersect, they intersect right here. So that's at the point 3, 9. So a price of 3, so P equals 3, and then D, demand, or, uh, excuse me, Q, Q equals 9. So our quantity, our equilibrium quantity is 9, and our equilibrium price is $3. So what does that mean? That means that absent any government intervention or any kind of other issues, just a free competitive market, we would arrive at a price of $3 for our chocolate bars. That would be the price that arrives at in the, by just the forces of supply and demand. And then there would be a quantity of nine chocolate bars, right? So we'd have three uh, $3 would be the price of the chocolate bars, and we'd have nine chocolate bars that are, that are ultimately consumed or, or made. So let's think about what if, why, why not a price of $2? Right? We're saying that the equilibrium price, so our equilibrium is right here. That's the free market, but why not $2? So think about it. At $2, if we were to look at this here, or we can go back, we can even go back to our, our little supply uh, schedule and demand schedule, the quantity demanded is 12, and the quantity uh, supplied is 6. Think about this gap here. See that gap? People, at the price of $2, people are wanting 12 chocolate bars, but they're only getting six. There are only six being supplied. So we'd say if we set the price at $2, there would be a shortage, right? Conversely, if we were to set the price at $4, we would have a surplus because people are willing to supply more than what people are demanding. We would have chocolate bars left over. So the magic of supply and demand is that the free market ultimately arrives at this point here, this equilibrium, where the quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied. And if you look back at our schedule, our demand schedule and our supply schedule, we see that at a price of $3, there are nine chocolate bars demanded and nine chocolate bars supplied. So that's, that's our equilibrium in a free market.